Before we start today's episode, today is Mother's Day. So my greetings, compliments and salutations to all the mothers. Today we speak of eyeglasses. Eyeglasses, whether as a fashion statement, whether as corrective eyewear or as a protective eyewear, has been there for quite some time now. A large number of unicorns, both in the West, in the Americas, as well as in India and the East, are dealing in eyewear industry. Combination of science, advanced materials and design concepts have all contributed to this industry's rapid growth in the last one decade. Eyewears initially were very specialized, dealt by a small number of optometrists which were one or two in a town and today eyewear industry there are multiple network shops like the lens cart if some of these have gone to a level of highly computerized operations in terms of lens manufacturing lens fitting customer relationship management from a mass and scalable business model if we look at the three segments namely the fashion segment the corrective or the prescription glass segment and the protective segment each of these evolved as unique segments, but over a period of time, they have become intertwined with each other, each one influencing each other, and glasses for multiple use, like protective glasses having corrective properties, corrective glasses having fashion properties, and some of them working as all the three, that is fashion, protection, and correction have become preponderant. There are three types of corrections which are made through prescription glasses. The first one as we know is myopia, disability or lack of ability to properly see distant objects. Hyperopia or hypermetropia where the problem is relating to looking at things which are nearby. And of course astigmatism where curves and corners becomes a eyesight problem. When we become 40 or older, another problem comes in, which is known as presbyopia, our inability to read. The first correction glasses were seen at two places. One, recorded history. Second, portraits and paintings that came into Europe, preserved in various museums and art galleries. Or the first eyeglass that corrected an eye vision was recorded about 950 years back in the year 1268 by Roger Dacon using a lens. Now during that period, late 13th century, 14th century and 15th century, China, India and Europe were known to be using framed eyeglasses for correcting different visions. So eyeglasses history is one of the evidence of East learning from the West and West learning from the East. The first uh, formal eyeglass was known to be used in Europe in Florence in Italy and the first evidence was found in the 15th century, middle of 15th century. Concave lenses which are used for correcting uh, eye defects relating to myopia were first seen in the portraits in the 16th century. The same eyeglass being used to correct both Distant problems as well as near sight problem was first discovered by uh, the famous scientist uh, Benjamin Franklin uh, in the year 1784 when he discovered the famous bifocal lenses that is one lens having two foci or two focus points so that one can one did not have to change the eyeglass for looking far and looking nearby. And bifocals uh, led to trifocals trifocals led to multifocals and multifocals led to what we know today as progressive lenses. Even though large number of other techniques such as laser surgery or even contact lenses came into being, a study indicates that over 95% of the people with any kind of eye defect use glasses over the other two methods. Prescription glasses today come in various shapes, 
gone are the days when one used to have one spectacle till it broke down or till it became very old or unusable. Initially glasses were made out of quartz, but later on the lenses were made out of optical glasses as the glass uh, usage demand went up. Let us now look at another important eyeglass which are protective, which are popularly bucketed into something called goggles. Goggles are supposed to be snugly fitting your eye and preventing your eye from external material like water or air or rays. The first use of goggles were seen in Persian palm divers who used to dive inside the sea in the 14th century. After that for a long time they were used in a crude manner but the first formal use of eyeglasses for a competitive sport was seen when Thomas Burgess crossed in 1911 the English Channel and he used goggles to protect his eyes from the salty waters and the wind. After that cars came, bikes came, sports like scuba diving and skin water driving also came. All these required protecting the eyes and goggles which snuggle fit either through an elastic band or through other material became very very popular. Goggles have gone from one step to the other. Highly specialized goggles and material which are specific to sports like biking, scuba diving, airplane flying, all those things have come. It will be interesting to watch how goggles in their new forms and corrective and fashion glasses in their new forms impact our lives. Thank you very much.